Question. What's 250 years old? Was used as George Washington's headquarters. Has served as a residence for Vice President Aaron Burr. And is a veritable time capsule of American history. Perched on the second highest point of the island of Manhattan, the Morris Jamel Mansion is New York City's oldest private residence. That's right, on the tip of northern Manhattan sits a specially preserved oasis of American history. Open to the public year-round, you could say we're hiding in plain sight in the middle of Washington Heights. Hi, I'm Carol Ward, the executive director of the Morris Jamel Mansion. Let's go inside, take a look around, and meet some of our staff. Thanks, Carol. The Morris Jumel Mansion was built in 1765 by British Colonel Roger Morris in the Palladian style, noted for its front portico and columns. Due to its high elevation, George Washington chose the Morris Jumel Mansion as the location of his headquarters for the Battle of Harlem Heights in September 1776. Unfortunately, after the battle, he and the Continental Army had to retreat north, leaving the mansion in the hands of the British. In July of 1790, President George Washington returned victorious to the mansion and held a dinner party for Vice President John Adams, Secretary of State Thomas Jefferson, and Secretary of the Treasury Alexander Hamilton. If these walls could talk, imagine the stories they would tell. In 1810, the mansion was purchased by Eliza and Stephen Jamel. In 1832, shortly after Stephen's death, Eliza married former Vice President Aaron Burr in the front parlor. Ironically, they divorced on the day of his death in 1836. Eliza Jamel continued to live in the mansion that now bears her name until her death in 1865. In 1904, the Morris Jamel Mansion became what it is today, a not-for-profit museum dedicated to preserving its history and keeping it accessible to the public. Hey, can I come in? Of course you can. We love it when people stop by the museum. It's amazing what happens when people spend a little time at the Morris Jamel Mansion. So tell me, Carol, what goes on here in more contemporary times? That's such a good question. We have such a wide variety of events that take place here at the Morris Jamel Mansion. We work with a host of different cultural organizations, like the Northern Manhattan Arts Alliance, the Aaron Burr Society, and the Harlem Swing Dance Society. Practically every day, we also have tours for both adults and for school students as well. There's always something going on here at the mansion. And a great way to keep up on it all is to become a member. Free admission to the museum, subscription to our newsletter, and discounts to events, members-only functions, and the gift shop are just a few of the many benefits of membership. Just visit our homepage, click on the membership button, select one of our many levels, and pay online. It's that easy. It's so great to be up close and personal with history like the Morris Jamel Mansion. And with so many stories to tell, there's always something new happening at Manhattan's oldest house. Be sure to check out our website for upcoming events and more information on membership. Come join us and create your own history at the mansion.